دس سیکشن از ویری امپورٹنٹ حکم بما انزل اللہ ٹو اے کمیونٹی ٹو اے نیشن ٹو اے نما ٹو ہوم شریعہ ہیز بن گیون اف دس کمیونٹی از ناٹ ججنگ میٹر اکارڈنگ ٹو دیر شریعہ دے آر دی کافرس دے آر دی فاسٹس دے آر دی ظالم دے آر دی مشرکس اے ویری اسٹرن ورڈ فار آل آف دی مسلمس آف ٹوڈے you think you are muslim you think you are mormon in your lands are the courts enforcing the law of sharia are the punishments of quran and sunna being given so who you are then it's a very stern verdict prepare yourself for the shock inna anzalna taurat We sent down Torah, Fiha Hudam Vanur. In that book also, there was guidance and light. Yaakumu Behan Nabi Yun, with according to the law of Torah, the prophets used to judge. Min al Lazid, Nabi Yun al Lazid Aslamu, because they were themselves Muslims. Every prophet was Muslim. Who was Ibrahim? Muslim. اس قال له ربه اسلم قال اسلمت لرب العالمين للذين هادوا they used to judge and decide the matters of the Jews wal rabbaniyun wal ahbar not only the prophets but also rabbani means people men who love Allah rabb Allah wale whom we call in urdu people who were in love with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ahbar and they are you know Yuris, Fokaha, they, they were giving the verdicts according to the Torah. We must tohfizum in kitab Allah because they were entrusted the protection of the book of Allah. Wakanu alay shuhada. And they were the witnesses to that. Fala taqshamun nasa makshawni. So you, O oh Jews, don't fear men, fear me. وَلَا تَشْتَرُوا بِآيَاتِ سَمِيَنْ قَلِيلًا And don't sell my ayat, my laws, my decrees, my sharia against a very small, trivial price. What will you get here? If you are selling a fatwa, a wrong fatwa, you might have had maybe a million dollars, for example. What are those million dollars? Maybe you die tomorrow and the dollars will go to somebody else. A trivial price, but we have sold a wrong fatwa. Mamallam yahkum bima adullah faulai ka humul kafirul. And whosoever doesn't judge and decide according to what Allah has sent down, verily they are the kafirs. They are the rejectors of the faith. They might claim to be Muslims and Mormons, and they might claim to be very high. having a very high position spiritually but in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are the kafirs bal lam yakum bima anallah fa ulai ka mun kafirun wa katabna alayhim fiha and we had decided for them prescribed for them in the in 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 fiha in that torah anna nafs bin nafs life will be taken for life somebody kills he will be killed والعين بالعين اي فور اي والالف بالالف نوز فور نوز والاذن بالاذن ايير فور ايير اف سم بدي هاز كات ذا ايير اوف انذر بيرسون هيز ايير ويل اولسو بي كات تشوبد اوف والسن بالسن اند ا توث فور ا توث والجروح قصاص اند ان سيم واي ذير ويل بي ايكوال ايكواليتي ان اول ذا انجريز فمن تصدق به فهو كفاره له Whosoever foregoes it in charity, okay, you did it to me, I am not going to do it to you. I forgive you. This will become a kafara, an expi- expiation of his sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive some of his sins because he has forgiven his brother who did something wrong with him but he didn't take the revenge. وَمَنْ لَمْ يَحْكُمْ بِمَا عَنْزَ اللَّهُ فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ 
and whosoever doesn't judge by what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down, they are the zalims, they are the evildoers. And the other meaning of this word zalim is they are the mushriks. Inna shirk ala zulmun azim. Shirk, associating someone with Allah is the biggest zulm. You are zalimun, actually this is shirk. You have a law, divine law. You have a human law. You are deciding by human law, not divine law. You are making this human being or this the, the framers of this law equal to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, rather greater than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have rejected the law of Allah and accepted the law of a human being or a nation. What is parliament? A representative of human beings. It is making a law. Homosexuality, permissible. Two males married, okay. Two females married, okay. They are making it. But who are they? They are human beings. They have framed this law. If you accept this law, instead of the law of Allah, you have made them higher than Allah. It's more than shirk. And in their footsteps, so many Anbiya came between Moses and Hazrat Masih. Allah Asarihim, in their footsteps, we sent Isa ibn Maryam, alayhi salatu wa salam, musabdiqan lima bayna yudayhi min al-Torah, confirming that which was present before him, min al-Torah, from Torah. Wa atayna awr injil, and in addition we gave him injil. Fihe hudam wa nur. Just like Torah in Injil also, there was guidance as well as nur, as well as light. But musaddiqan lima bayna yudayhi min al-Torah, again the words are repeated. Confirming what was present before him from Torah. Why this repetition? I thought over it today, and my mind says that first recognition is that Torah was the book of Allah. This is first confirmation. And the second confirmation is denoting to the saying of the of Prophet Jesus, wassalam, don't think I have come to destroy law. This is tasdeeq. The law of Moses will be applicable to you also. These words are there in the gospel up till now. Go and read the gospel according to Saint Matthew. You find the words. Don't think I have come to destroy law. Saint Paul abrogated law. So actually modern, present Christianity is not Christianity. It is Paulism. He abrogated law. The law of Moses. While Jesus says, and his saying is preserved in the Gospels, even today. Don't think I have come to destroy law. Confirming the law and confirming the book, both. The Torah was Allah's book, one confirmation. And its law is applicable to you also. That is the second confirmation. It was the guidance and admonishment and advice for those who have taqwa. People who believe in Injil, they should judge according to Injil. If Injil says the law of Moses is applicable to you, how can you abrogate? Who is Paul to abrogate? Third verdict. And whosoever doesn't judge and decide things according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down, they are the fasiqs, they are the rebellious ones. They are challenging the law of Allah, the authority of Allah. Who is a rebel? A rebel is a person who doesn't accept and challenges the, the government. How beautiful. We gave Torah to Moses, we gave Injil to Jesus. Now, and now we have sent this book, Al Quran, with the total truth, Bil Haq. I told you, not the truth only, the total truth. And it is also confirming that Injil was Allah's book, Torah was Allah's book. And it is guardian over that because the 
texts of these two books have been corrupted. So it is the it is guarding, guardian, muhaminan, muhaminan alay. Fakum bainahum bima Allah. So, O Muhammad, you now judge according to what Allah has sent down upon you. Walata tabi ahwahum. Don't follow their lusts and wishes. Amma ja kamin al haq. And you go away from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent to you from the total truth. Trying to please them. Following their wishes. لِكُلِّنْ جَعَلْنَا مِنْكُمْ شَرَطًا وَمِنْ هَاجًا For each one of you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has declared one shira, one sharia, the ritual and the law. To Moses, we gave a law. Now, basically that law is the same, but there are amendments. The law of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is different from the law of Moses in many respects. So Allah gave them to they gave, gave that Sharia to Bani Israel and this Sharia to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Had Allah wished so, He would have made you all one ummah. He could have sent Quran from the very beginning. He could do it, but it is His hikma because humanity was coming up of age, intellectually progressing, evolving. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according with the intellectual evolution and social evolution of humanity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was giving you know the instructions. So Torah had the interim instructions. Total truth has been revealed now in this book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tests you in what he has given to you. Whether you cling to the form or the essence. Form of the has changed. Essence of deen is the same. The deen of Moses, deen of Isa, deen of Muhammad is the same. Shara alakum min al-deen ma wassa bihi nuhan wal ladhi awhayna ilayk wa ma wassayna bihi Ibrahim wa Musa wa Isa. The deen has been one. But the shara'i are different. Shira'atam wa min haja are different. Methodology is different. Methodology of Ibrahim was different. Methodology of Yusuf was different. Methodology of Moses was different. Methodology of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is different. But now we have to follow the methodology of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been making these changes to, to test you. Whether you cling to the form only or you can see to the essence of the thing. And whether you are racist or nationalist or seeker of the truth. Because this is my nation. This is the book we believe in. I will cling to it. Or you are the seeker after truth. If you are a seeker for the truth, then the, the al-haq, the total truth, is, has now come in the form of Quran. فَاسْتَبِقُ khairat. So, O oh Muslims, or humanity at large, you should compete with each other as in a race for all the virtuous and righteous things. إِلَى اللَّهِ مَرْجَعُكُمْ To Allah is going to be your return. Jamia, all of you. And then Allah will tell you, make it clear for you, in whatever you were differing. All the differences will be settled on that day. And judge, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, between them, according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said. And don't follow their lusts and wishes. And beware of them lest they should take you away from the path, from that, that thing, that Sharia which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, has sent down on you. And if they are turning their backs, then you should know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to inflict them with some punishment due to their sins. And verily, the majority and many of the people, they are the transgressors. The last ayah in this passage is very grand. Do they want to have the judgments of the days of ignorance? Days of ignorance before Wahi came to Muhammad. That is Jahiliya. What do they want? 
They don't want, they don't like the judgment of Allah. As I told you, you know, many Muslims in the British courts during the British Raj in India, they used to stand up in the courts and say, we don't want any verdict according to the law of inheritance of Islam. Muslim declaring it. Do they want the judgment of Jahiliyyah? Who can be better than Allah in the judgments and in the decisions and in the law for those people who have faith in him? They know that the best law, the best sharia is the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Azim wa nafani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa zikil hakim.